Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Turner Questions out for No Stylus, and today I'm going to start on some tutorials of some drawing and painting tools for the iPad. And I'm going to start with Procreate. As you can see, I've got a few other ones on there as well, which are quite useful. And the ones we're going to be looking at are Art Studio, Art Rage, and also Ink Artist. I think out of these, the moment, the best in terms of facilities that it's got is Art Studio. But the other ones are actually very good. And I actually have a bit of a soft spot for Procreate because of the way that you can draw some really nice lines in there. So anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. Let's go to the gallery. This is where you can choose where you're going to start working with uh, something you've worked on already. Or if you're going to start a new one, you just tap on that button over in the top right hand corner there to get a new one started. If I tap on that there, I can select one of these and I can duplicate it, send it elsewhere, or I can delete it. So that's uh, quite happened. Click on done with that for the moment. And let's open up something I've worked on already. Let's go to this one. And as you can see, it's a basic, uh, simple drawing with some lines and some textures in there. Now, what have we got? OK, so you've got some brushes over here. Here are the brushes. And you can buy extra brushes. These are extra brushes I bought called Elements and another one called Industrial. And uh, just as an example, let's take one of these and put it in there. So let's go for the caged one. So as you can see, we've gone into the details for the brush. And we won't uh, look at this too, in too much detail at the moment because I'll do that in a separate video. I think there's enough there to be looked at in a separate video. But you can look at the stroke, the shape, the grain and the dynamics of the brush. And also, in general, there's a few different things that you can do as well. So this one's called Cage. I don't know why it's called Cage, but there you go. And the source. So as you see, you've got uh, the shape and you've got the grain. And uh, we'll have a look at how you can make your own brushes with Procreate as well, because that's got a nice feature, that is. And I'm going to start a new drawing. And the drawing I'm going to start will be a retina size drawing. OK, so now. So let's go to a different colour and start putting some colours in there. Change colours again. So you see how easy it is to change colours there. And you can move your uh, colour chooser on the screen there very easily. And we've got some more colours on there. OK, so you've got colours on there and you can put colours on there with a brush. You can smudge it around a bit with the smudger tool and then you can take colours off with the um, eraser tool. Now with the eraser tool there, you can hold it down there and get some details, choose from the brushes. This is a brush that I made myself. Let's click on done. As, I can, as you can see, there's other brushes I can choose. So for instance, maybe I want to choose one of these airbrushing brushes and go for the soft airbrush. Now the soft airbrush means that what I can do is I can go into this and you know soften it up in various places. So I'm just softening around the edges of my drawing that I've done so far. OK, so with the smudge tool, basically, I'm just sort of smudging it. And you can see there, I'm just uh, making a kind of blurred look with it, aren't I, really? So there you go. And you can change the size of the opacity. So that affects how much of a smudge you get with it. And the same with the um, painting tools there. You can change the size of the tool. Uh, layers. Well, the layers are pretty good there. So add another layer on top of that there. Let's just see what we can do with layers. Well, you can change the title of the layer. You can change the opacity of it. Uh, clear the layer completely if you want to get rid of whatever is in there. And you can fill layer. And I've just filled it with a green. Let's go into the opacity. And I've just taken the opacity down by moving the on the screen, going from left to right. So I go to the right, it ups the opacity, take it down to the left, and it's uh, take it off. So. There you go. So let's go back into this again to the layer. And this time what we'll do is change it to multiply or linear burn or there's a color burn there as well. So you've got some nice little uh, things you can do with layers. So let's go to lighten and choose lighten. Or we can go color dodge or color add. Or we can go for a hard light. So depending on what you've got on these layers, you'll get different effects. So I've got a difference layer or exclusion. I can do a subtract and then there's a color one here and hue uh, saturation so there's a number of different things that you can do with these layers and you got about 17 different blend modes that you can use another thing that you might want to do is you might want to take that there and change it down in size now that's just working that particular layer there 
So let's just take that off there. Let's go to another layer. You can see it a bit more clearly what's going on. So let's choose this layer with the color, all the colors in it. Two things on the screen moves it around from various places. And there's some sort of snapping thing there to it as well. So, so that's all quite handy, isn't it? Okay, so also let's have a look at some of the br other brushes that we've got here. Let's go to the brushes, go back to sketching tools, and we'll choose the 6B pencil. So you see there you've got a roundy sort of end to the line at the start, and then you've got a pointy one at the end. Well, I can change all of that. I'm going to the uh, settings for the 6B pencil. And you see there the, uh, the shape and everything's there, and let's go for the spacing. So I can change the scatter on that there to spread the uh, line out a bit to make it a bit more softer. I can choose spacing so you can see where it sort of moves the dots there, look, further apart. And we've got a stroke taper so I can have it so it's got a uh, taper at the start. I can change so it doesn't got a taper at the end as well. So there's a number of different things that you can do with this. Change the size of it as well. So let's go back into this again. Let's. Uh, do a line. You see there, a much softer line than I've got now. Let's put the opacity up there. Okay, so there's a couple of different things you can do with that. And once you've done your drawing and you want to export it out, then you go to that tool there for the actions and you can share email, Twitter, Facebook. And you can also export out to iTunes, Photos and Dropbox. So plenty of choices there. And you can also do some changes with the canvas. So if you want to do a flip horizontal or a flip vertical, no problem. And with devices, now if you want to sort of add other devices, you can do so. So maybe you've got the Adonic Jot Touch or the Hex 3 ja, Jaja or the Pogo Connect. The Pogo Connect goes through uh, Bluetooth, and some of these actually add pressure sensitivity to your drawing, so that's quite good as well. I like this application, I think it's a really good app. Let's go back into the pencils again or the um, drawing tools, click on done to get back into where we can choose it. And let's choose a painting brush. So we'll go for the uh, round brush. Let's change colour so we can see it a bit better. Go for a nice red. And you can see there, that's a bit pink looking, isn't it? Put the opacity right up. Now we can see it a bit better. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a clear layer. So let's go to this. In fact, what I can do if I want to, I can just do a delete of layers. So let's delete that layer altogether and open up a new layer. And this time I'm going to put some paint in there, so there's some paint going in there, and it's um, not full opacity. This is the full opacity. Having it to lower opacity is quite nice, it means that you can sort of uh, build up a colour over, uh, you get a bit more texture in there, so that's uh, quite nice. Change the size of the brush as well. So a nice large brush, this one there. And so the more times you go over, a bit that you're drawing, the more you build the colour up. And of course you can change colour too, very easily. Another way to change the colour actually is if I hold down, you see the uh, top part of the circle there is a lighter blue, and that's the colour I'm going to be choosing, so now I've got a different sort of colour in there. So I've changed colour just by pressing and holding down. Let's go back to full opacity on this again, and you see the colours coming through. Let's go back into the brush settings once more, change it to a wet flat brush. Another nice thing about this as well, if you notice, is that um, this uh, paint that I put on there for the uh, blue there, I'm using another brush and I'm using a wet brush on top of it. I'm getting a, a mixing of colours as I move it, so that's kind of nice. I'm getting two fingers on the picture and I can turn the picture around, so that's kind of nice. So that's very handy if you're doing some brush work and you don't want to turn the iPad around and you want to you know, get a certain shape and it's easier for you to do it with the picture turned around a bit. So there you go, this is Dave Allen, a quick look at Procreate. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use Procreate and create your own brushes. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylist. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.